Hello and welcome back to the sport book. Now we're going to talk about baseball. Now players of the week. In the AL, it was Miguel Cabrera who had three homers, 11 RBIs, and baddest and batted 429. What about in the NL? In the NL, it was Connor Jackson, who had two home runs, seven RBIs, and a 440 average throughout the week. What a great week for him and for Miguel Cabrera. Now, I'm gonna, now we're going to do who we thought out is our best team so far in the MLB. I'll start. And speaking of Connor Jackson, I believe it is the Arizona Diamondbacks with a 14-5 and record. That's astonishing. Now, let me give you this. Between them and their opponents, runs batted in, 120 for them compared to 67. Okay, ho home runs, 28 compared to 16. Okay, RBIs, 115 compared to 63. They are doubling everybody. It, it's pretty crazy. And batting average, 280 compared to 213. They are truly, they end, end their pitching. Brandon Webb, Dan Howard. Now, they did lose Jose Valverde, who I thought was very, even though they didn't make it to the playoffs last year. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. But I, they did get Dan Heron in the offseason. They did. So they did, but they did lose Jose Valverde. But they have two stellar, two top five uh, Cy Young candidates. What about, who's your best team so far? I like the Chicago Cubs, who I also like to make the World Series this year. Right now, they're 14 and 6. They're on a roll. Finally, Ted Lilly joins the party and does well. And now, you got Ronnie Cedeno hit a grand slam today. They're playing the best baseball. Lou's got these guys playing great. That's my no matter, team. No matter what you say, Pinelli is a great manager. Now, yeah. who's your most surprising player so far this year? It has to be Xavier Nady. Nady has four home runs, 17 RBIs, and a 340 average, which is pretty impressive. Speaking, I mean, no one ex really expected, expected it. He's a role player. And he's on paper. Pretty much, yeah. No, and you think Jason Bay would have that, if anyone. But no, Xavier Nee. Now, for me, it has to be Derek Lee. Seven. Seven home runs. This is April 22nd. Okay? Something like that. I don't know. That's why I told him. Co comeback player of the year. I called he this said in that January. on our first episode ever of the Sports Clips. So, seven homers. 17 RBIs. And a 358 average. Amazing. Now I want to get to a topic. Um, so as you guys probably know, George Steinbrenner has basically like resigned, and Hank Steinbrenner is now the owner of the New York Yankees. He, this is what it said on the New York Times, uh, I'm pretty sure New York Post. Uh, enough with this hanky panky stuff, okay? He is feeling that. Bill Hughes and um, Ian Kennedy are not doing good. They're, they're not getting wins. And he feels, why is Jabba in the bullpen only going to pitch one inning every other every other day, maybe every three, you know, once every three days? He feels it's waste. Get him to start. Do you think he should start? Well, well you also left right out now. Cashman. Cashman thinks he's the same bullpen. As I agree with but Cashman. I agree with Cashman because but think about it. You don't want to wear out his arm too early. Get him used to the bigs, and then if you really need him down the why, line. I don't understand I why so many people bullpen. are babying him. They didn't do that with Phil Hughes. He's not in the bullpen to start out. He can throw 100 miles an hour. And, and, this is true. Earlier, I was speaking to Regis Philbin, okay, and me and him were discussing about Jabba Chamberlain. And he agrees with me that he should be, sorry, for real, I'm not even joking, okay? So, uh, I, I mean, when you have this talent, why keep him in the bullpen for one inning when you could put Ross okay. Ollendorf in the eighth inning? And okay, put, yeah, but then you lose to your long So you want to agree, you want to agree with Brian Cashman? Yep, I think Cashman's the general manager. Because you can move him, you can what? move him, but you can move him to the starting the rotation question. in a couple of years. Right now, get him used to the bigs. But Listen, his, he's been known. You know why they keep him in the bullpen? Because even in the minors, he was only pitching four to five innings. Phil Hughes was pitching six to seven. I mean, come on, you you can you have the baby yeah. guy like this. He's had arm yeah, problems. Yeah, but here's, the here's, here's the big he had question. arm problems at Nebraska. You got to keep this guy in the bullpen. Make sure his but arms okay. Well, during the season, will he be in a start? He shouldn't be. You got five good starters right now. Right now, you got five good starters. I think. I think you got to leave. Ian Tonight, Kennedy Wong and is Hughes. going for for his four uh, fourth win to make his record four and zero. Okay, he's great. No, no, no. no, he no, he didn't get the loss. He didn't get the loss. No. But he didn't get the. He, I'm, not no fourth, role, though. No, I said fourth oh, win. Okay. Then you have Pettit, who's doing good. You know, I'll take it. Okay, yeah. Messina, he's 
doing okay. See, the in candidate, it's, they're not getting runs. or They're just not doing that good. I think you should be a starter. That, here's the real question. But then who do you move out of the starting rotation then? Tell me. You got, right now? Kennedy, I would move. Okay, I don't Billy think, but, is doing just as bad. That's why you leave them both there. That's I, why you leave them both I, there. I, I, for right, 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 let's move match. on. Let's because move on to the Kennedy's final question. Always had problems in the board. Final question. Why I should Hank Steinbrenner, being the owner of the New York Yankees, should he be more vocal? He's the owner. He makes the final decision. Or say, you know what, Mr. Cashman, you'll make. But he's the owner. It's no, no, his no. Team. I think it's neither of their decisions. I think you leave. The manager. The, the manager, whose whose job it is to last manage year, his team. Last year, day -day. Joe Torre did not even know about the Clemens trade. You think, why, why, like, I don't think the manager should be, it's the he owner. Should be in charge. This is your he team. He should want to direct the team. No, this no. is your team. You make the moves. He wants to move. Why not move him? Because the manager's job is to put the pl people in the places where they're going to succeed. That's why I say you then would have to tell Pence. Then tell Pence. Then tell Pence. You know what? If, you you know what? if Joe Torre was there, he would, make, he would make the right move. I'll tell you that. Joe Girardi would make the right move. He's, He's gonna be a great manager. I don't think and where's Joe Torre right now? How good is the Dodgers? Don't They're say so anything bad. about They're Joe Torre. Right they are doing so bad right now. Oh. Leave Joe Torre out of it. Joe Torre is a washed up manager who was great for many years. I'll give him that, but he's washed up now. He's got to get out of it. And all right, all right, the other all thing right. is, you leave right. it up to you know Joe Girardi. We have to Joe disagree. Girardi. We disagree. We disagree. End of story, okay? That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sports. And until our next one. I'm Emily. He's me. See ya.